Welcome! In this session, we will learn to estimate the minimum variance in optimal portfolios. The first thing that we are going to do is to create the portfolio of minimum variance. So we will create a variable in the console, portfolio.min.var. And this will be equal to the function min variance portfolio of, F, of the F portfolio package. So we write min bar and our studio has already suggested us the function. And inside this, I will, uh, I will press Chief Enter to go to the second line. And inside this uh, function, the first parameter will be the name of the return matrix. So I will write return.matrix, the one that we computed uh, some uh, sessions before. And the second parameter will be the risk-free rate. So I will write set risk and RStudio suggests me the function set risk-free rate. And inside the, the um, parentheses, I will write portfolio spec. Let me see, portfolio spec and then comma, and then I will write the uh, risk-free rate that we established several sessions ago, and it was 2.21%, and it was 2.21%, uh, and this was a yearly risk-free rate. So we have to divide it by 12 months, as we are working with monthly returns. Then I press comma, chief enter to go to the third line, and I will establish the constraint. I don't want uh, short cells, so I will write long only. And we are ready. I press enter. And we can see that uh, the portfolio mean bar is a variable in the global environment, a variable with formal class F portfolio. Now we are going to extract the weights from this portfolio mean bar. As you can see here, uh, I'm going to establish, I'm going to extract the weights. And for doing this, I'm going to create a variable weights.min.bar. And this will be equal to the function get weights of the package F portfolio. Get weights. Then inside get weights, I will write the name of the variable that I just created, which is portfolio.minbar. I press enter and now I can look for this variable that I just created. We can look at it, it is here. And to view what's inside the variable, I will from the console write view weights.min.bar. And we can see here the, uh, the weights of the portfolio of minimum variance we can see that it has assigned almost 12% in McDonald's, 19% in Walmart, 15.5% in Coca-Cola, almost 13% in AT&T. Uh, we have to notice that it didn't assign anything in Tesla. It has zero. And this shouldn't, be, shouldn't surprise us because Tesla has the highest return but also has the highest variance. So the minimum variance portfolio uh, didn't take it, didn't select it. Amazon has less than 1%. Pfizer has 10%. Unilever has almost 14%. Costco has uh, about 8.7%. And that's the minimum variance portfolio. We, can, we could also construct a graph, a bar plot, from the weights, and let's do this. I press enter, and you can see in the graph the weights of the minimum variance portfolio. So, as you can see, the highest one is uh, which one? Which one was the highest? Was Walmart, then uh, Coca-Cola, then McDonald's, and then probably Unilever. Now, well, we could also uh, graph a pie from this 
weights in bar so you can see the same the the highest weight is in walmart mcdonald's coca-cola unilever now let's construct the optimal portfolio and for this let me erase this uh, screen we will create the variable uh, optimal portfolio optimal dot portfolio which will be equal to the function tangency portfolio of the of the f portfolio package tangency portfolio our studio has already suggested us this uh, function i press shift enter to go to the second line then i have to assign the first parameter which is the say the um, the return dot matrix where the data is and uh, then i have to assign the risk free rate so i write re set risk free rate and inside this i write a portfolio spec portfolio spec comma and then i write the value of the risk free rate which is 2.29 divided 2.20 2.21% sorry divided by 12 comma chief enter and the constraint of long only to avoid short cells long only I think this has to be with an N like this I press enter and we can see that here it is the optimal portfolio in our global environment. And now we have to extract the weights from the optimal portfolio. I create the variable weights dot uh, optimal port. And this will be equal to get weights, the function get weights, sorry, get weights in the variable that we just created which is optimal portfolio i press enter and to view what's inside optimal portfolio or the weights of the optimal portfolio uh, i have just to select the variable that i just created and we can see the weights that r has assigned to the optimal portfolio we can see that it, it assigned 42 percent to walmart 6.8 percent to tesla 12 percent to amazon 9 percent to apple 19 percent 19.5 percent to caterpillar and 10 percent to costco that's our optimal portfolio that's the portfolio which has the highest uh, return by unit of risk if we we can graph this optimal portfolio bar plot optimal port and we can see here uh, the weights of the optimal portfolio we can see that uh, more more than 40 percent was assigned in walmart also a relevant part was assigned let me see in which one i think that's uh, that's got caterpillar and also costco as you can see here we can we could also create a pie with these weights and you can see here the weights that have been assigned to the optimal portfolio practically with this we are finishing this section i hope that you really like it how we learn to optimize uh, portfolios thanks for watching